Hello guys, thanks for tuning back into the channel. Let's go ahead and make some cheat day hot wings and homemade sauce. So obviously you're just going to start with a pack of wings. Okay, so just for the chicken, I'm going to show you the things that you absolutely need. So start with coconut oil, some salt, and pepper. Essentially, you are also going to need hot sauce and ketchup. So these are all the things that you will definitely want to have to make this meal come together. So if you want to stay true to my recipe, you want to start with apple cider vinegar. You want to have honey. Garlic salt. Your favorite rub or seasoned salt. And mixed garlic. These are all of your optional ingredients to stay true to the recipe I will show you. Your first step is to clean your chicken. However you like to do that, rinse the chicken off and remove any debris. And then you want to season your chicken with salt, pepper, and garlic salt. You can start with salt and pepper. And remember the optional ingredient was garlic salt. Okay, now your chicken is clean and prepared and seasoned. Go ahead and place it on a rack and pan. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 375. Then you're just going to take your coconut oil and drizzle that all over the meat. So your oven is heated to 375, the meat is in, and let's get started with the homemade sauce. You want to add about 3 fourths cups of ketchup, add a dash of both salt and pepper, add about 2 tablespoons of hot sauce. You can really add hot sauce to taste, so add more if you would like, if you want it really spicy. And also, you can stop there if you just want the traditional seasoning. My optional ingredients for my recipe is going to be to add the rub or seasoned salt, add a drizzle of honey. The honey will cut the hot sauce just a little. You're also going to add a scoop of the minced garlic. And a spoonful of apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is something that has many health benefits. So I like to just add it randomly to different recipes. That's it for the sauce. Go ahead and cover and either stir or shake. I just stirred it with a spoon. And this is how your mixture should look. You're going to cover that and place it to the side in the refrigerator while your wings continue to bake. For my daughter or anyone who can't have hot sauce and all those ingredients, I just keep some barbecue sauce on the side. After 20 minutes, you're going to flip your meat and do the same oil with the coconut oil. Just drizzle the coconut oil on the opposite side and let that cook for another 20 minutes. I also went ahead and popped some fries in the oven to have with my chicken wings. 
and I'm gonna make a salad on the side as well. After 20 minutes, go ahead and take your wings out of the oven. Coat them with your sauce. I did half with my homemade sauce and half with the barbecue sauce. Then you're gonna place them back into the oven for a last 10 minutes, just to let the sauce heat up and let your wings get a little bit crispier. Because I do want crispy wings, I'm going to change the heat setting from 375 to a broiler. Just gonna put it on a low broil for 10 minutes. And there you have it, homemade chicken wings out of the oven. We're gonna do some fries on the side and a salad. This should be a yummy cheat day meal for you. And get creative with your sauce, get creative with your salad, get creative with your homemade fries, and just enjoy your meal. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share.